so I've been working with these angelfish for about six months now and I finally got viable wigglers out of them and I started thinking about doing a series on these angelfish uh, angelfish breeding project or something I'll come up with a name but first I wanted to go over the last six months what I've been doing with them and then chronicle as these babies grow hopefully they do all right and everything from here on out Here was my very first angelfish spawn. I didn't even notice the eggs, but I came home from work one day and these two were keeping all the other angels clear on the other side of the tank. And then I looked and found the wigglers up here on the canister filter intake tube. This light orange koi is the female and then the gold veil tail is the male and I found each night they when the lights went off they would eat about half of the wigglers after one night it was about half another night down to a quarter and just when I thought they had eaten them all I did find two wigglers about three days later when I came home from work and I was able to save those two here they are as the Wigglers, and here they are now, eight months later. The next two angelfish that paired up are this marble male and a koi veil female. They spawned in my community tank here on an Anubius leaf. This first time they had trouble getting a lot of the eggs to stick on the plant, but they were at least picking them up and trying to throw them back on there. In the end though, after three days, they ate all of them and I didn't see any wigglers from the batch. After this I separated them off into their own 20 gallon tank so they wouldn't be stressed out from any other fish in there. After removing the marble and koi pair, about a week later, my two gold veil and super veil angels paired up and had a spawn on the same Anubius leaf. But again, after a couple of days, they ate all the eggs and that was the end of that. The marble male which my daughter named Cow because he was a very aggressive eater when we first got him and the koi veil angel had another spawn about 11 days after settling into their alone tank that lasted about a day and a half before they ate all the eggs again. And just when I was getting ready to upgrade my 55 gallon to a 75, that morning, of course, the gold angels started spawning. This batch, since I was getting ready to tear down the tank, I moved it to an another uh, tank to hatch the eggs myself. I just tore off the leaf and put it in my regular breeder box that I've used several times and within a couple of hours those eggs all turned white. Yet again cow and 
decoy had a spawn about 12 days after they ate the previous one. This one lasted nearly a day and a half. And again, just during the night, they ate them all. I was trying to leave the lights on and a few different things, but nothing seemed to help and they inevitably would eat all their eggs. Here we go again. This pair settled in to spawning about every eight days. After the first day, you know, about 10% of the eggs might turn white. They didn't seem to be picking them off, but by the day and a half to two days, they would scrap them all and start over about a week later. After having a few spawns with no wigglers or anything happening from the batch, I took this first picture, loaded it up into a paint program, and started counting just how many eggs were on there. Come to find out, they had laid 736, and I was shocked. I was guessing a couple hundred or so just looking at all those eggs on the slate, but it was really shocking to me that these guys had laid that many eggs and it's about that amount every time that they do spawn but again after about a day some of the eggs started turning white within a couple of days there were barely any left that they ate later that day I did save try to pull a few and put them in a jar one of my spawning jars with the uh, sponges and everything from Angels Plus that didn't go as well either they died that same day today these angels have now spawned on this overflow PVC tube there is a whole lot of eggs it's hard to well, get the camera to focus the light away from them. But this pipe has a bit of algae on it. And it's hard to differentiate in the camera between the eggs and the algae. But there's got to be another six, seven hundred eggs in there. It's ridiculous. They didn't lay them on the slate this time, I think, because I attacked it with my turkey baster, putting them in the jar, even though those didn't work. So I'm going to have to devise some sort of way to get these out without scaring them too badly. Or who knows what they've had now. This is their... What, one, two, three, four, five... Their sixth spawn, this is the shortest they've gone, one week. They ate all the other eggs on the third. Another week, another spawn, and another day, and they're gone. And here we're back with the gold veil angelfish. This was an unexpected spawn, really, because the male regular veil there who's coming at me now. He had not eaten really for about two weeks. He had been listless. I had been giving him general cure for internal parasites I suspected and a couple of rounds of that didn't help. And here I'd given Benbendazole, dissolved that into the water and the next day he perked up immensely and the female took this opportunity as to lay as many eggs as she could. They hadn't had a batch for about two months here. Unfortunately this batch didn't survive. After a couple hours they had started turning white, just a few here and there, and later that evening 
several more turned white into the following day when pretty much they were all turning white and then they ate all of them. The sad part of all of this is this was the prettiest pair I had and about a week later the male succumbed to his parasites, whatever he had, but then the female died the following day as well even though she had been acting perfectly normal the whole time. And we're back to the marble and koi pair. They laid their eggs about 10.30 the morning of the 28th. And that's one thing that I've noticed between this and a couple other pairs that I've had is that they primarily lay their eggs from 10 to 12 uh, noon. So that's when I've been uh, expecting it from here on. On the next day, by the time I got back from work, the eggs were all gone. This time I had purchased a bottle of methylene blue to give a try at hatching the eggs in a 10 gallon tank. I put the slate in, turned it upside down, put the air stone. I had it going pretty aggressively over the eggs and then I waited. After four days still no eggs hatched. And it was at this point I'm starting to wonder if one of these guys is just completely infertile. I did some googling around. I hadn't seen any forums, angel forums, with posts mentioning infertility if it's very common in angelfish but I had no other mature fish to swap either the male or female and try again and so I just had to wait for uh, one of my angels that I was growing up to become mature enough and see. Their next spawn was in about 10 days from the previous one but this time instead of the multiple hundreds of eggs like we've seen in the past this one was really only about a hundred eggs I saw them spawning and they didn't just eat most of them and leave a hundred behind but in the end it was the same as all the others after well, less than a day, maybe about 12 hours, they had eaten all the eggs and were back swimming around like nothing ever happened. Here they are, already started spawning, and I was male's breeding tube is certainly out more right now. It's not quite pointing forward, but I don't really think that is his issue, as he does go through the motions, running over the eggs. Right now he's fighting me, but here they go. Ignore me. Just go about your business. Here are the eggs after they finished laying them about 3 p.m. And then the next morning at 4.30 in the morning I woke up and you can see already some of them are starting to fungus. And then 8 o'clock there are some more. Finally by 4 the next afternoon they're just about all done eating them. And now we come to their final spawn. They laid them about 3 p.m., a little unusual for her. And then the next morning I took this picture. And then about 3 p.m. the following day, there's barely any left. 
After months of waiting for some of my other angels to grow up, I had a platinum angelfish that had finally started getting aggressive with the other younger angelfish. And so I had, I had a hunch that it could be a male. They tend to be a little more aggressive, but it's not a sure uh, way to tell his sex. So I decided to pull the marble out of the tank with this koi veil tail and put him in and see what happens. Sure enough, they did. And that's what my angelfish have been doing the last several months. Be sure to come back in a week or so. I'll have an update on how that platinum turned out and hopefully plenty more angelfish eggs here in the future. Bye.